everyone, welcome to my channel. It is time for Makeup Tip Monday. So if you're not familiar, I've started this new series on my channel where I'm gonna give you guys quick tips every Monday to just help improve your makeup skills that you may not get from tutorials or if you have any sort of makeup questions that you're wondering about, just leave me a comment down below and then I can use those as topics. So today, it might not be super obvious, but we are going to talk about mascara smudges. I'm in the middle of filming this tutorial and I totally bumped my mascara wand on my face. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to clean that up. Alright, so mascara smudges are literally the worst because you spend so much time perfecting your face and mascara is about one of the last things that goes on and it can totally wreck your look. And I also have a smudgy up here, it's hard to tell with my lashes, so I'm just going to show you guys two different ways to clean up your mascara smudges. So if you tend to have longer lashes like I do, um, you may get some mascara smudges up on your lid. And then one thing that you can do instead of just taking a makeup wipe and removing that whole area, because it can be really hard to blend it in, especially if you're working with a smoky look and you have layers and layers of eyeshadow, if you take something and smudge it off, it's gonna be really hard to just sort of blend it back together. So one thing that I like to do is just blend it out with an eyeshadow brush. So I'm using my Morphe G24 and I'm just gonna get in there and then you just kind of got to be patient and just lightly just sort of dust it away and it'll start to fade. And if you are doing a dark smoky eye, you can just take like one of the darker colors that you used and just blend over it. Um, sometimes with these, they can be, depending how severe, if it's on there pretty well and you do a makeup look, you can kind of get away with blending it while it's still a little bit wet. You may just have to darken up this side of your eye a little bit. So that's one thing you can do, or you can wait until it's completely dry. Um, I think that when these smudges get into your crease, it's trial and error, and it just depends on what works best for you. If you clean it up while it's still a little bit damp, or if you wait until it's dry, I also think it just depends how much is actually on there. Like this guy right here would not be a good thing to clean up while wet because it's just going to smudge everywhere. But sometimes you can get away with just sort of smudging it into your eyeshadow and then it's just not as noticeable as it once was. And then now if you get a big old smudge on your face, you definitely want to wait until this dries because it will just smear everywhere. So like the less cleanup, the better. So you're going to need a Q-tip. And then if it's a smaller smudge, you can get away with just using this dry. One thing that I also tend to get is smudges like underneath my lash line. So what I'll also do is just take a Q-tip, put it underneath my lashes, and then I'll just roll it. And that will pick up any sort of mascara smudges on your lower lash line. But since this is a pretty big smudge right here, I'm going to go ahead and take some help from my makeup remover. So I'm taking some of my simple... Uh, micellar cleansing water. So I'm just going to take the tip of my q-tip on the other side and just saturate it a little bit and you want to be careful because you don't want to spill it out everywhere and you also don't want to oversaturate because then it could just smear the thing around even more so you really got to be careful you need just a little bit and then you're just going to put it head on and just twist it away. And then another thing that you can do is take the other side of the q-tip and then also just smudge it away and you just want to slowly work until it's basically gone. You can see that there's a mark on my skin so then what you want to do is just take a little bit of concealer or whatever left on your foundation brush. Again, depending on the severity of the smudge, mine was pretty bad. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer and just put a dot on there. And then I'm just going to blend that out and then no one will know that you just had a huge ugly mascara smudge on your face. Alright, so that's it for this Makeup Tip Monday. I hope you guys found this tip to be helpful for you. There is a tutorial on this makeup look. I'm almost done. I'm putting on a fun colored lip to top it off. Link will be in the down bar below, so be sure to check that out. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. I put out videos every Monday and Thursdays. Of course, Mondays are going to be makeup tips, and then Thursdays are normally tutorials, first impressions, reviews, demos, haul videos, other fun makeup stuff like that. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and then again, leave me a comment down below letting me know what kind of tips and tricks that you're interested in knowing. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.